welcome back. So a few days ago I put out a video to show you how you can use the mirror it font to create that mirrored effect with your letters. I also showed you how you can create it yourself in Design Space. So now what I'm going to show you how to do is create a knockout using that font. Today I'm just going to use the mirrored it font and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use our our school logo and our school mascot here and just do something quick for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type out the name of our school. I'm going to go here and I'm going to use that mirror it font. I will link this in the description box for you so you know where you can get this. Um, it's super, super cheap, like I think less than $2 right now to get it. So easy way to do it or again you can create your own which I'll also link that video to show you how you can do that using different fonts of your choosing. So I went ahead and I typed my letter. I'm going to move my letters or I typed my word. I'm going to move my letters a little closer together so the knockout looks a little better. So that's there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my owl here. This is our logo, our mascot. Now when you do a knockout, the idea is you're going to create an object within your letters that's going to stand out. So instead of just layering this, let's say if I just move this to the back and I put it on a shirt that way, which you could, doing a knockout, what that's going to do is that's actually going to put this image into your letters here. So I'm going to ungroup this because I'm going to only use this red part here. So I'm going to I'm going to hide these layers real quick in case we need to go back to them for anything. So I'm going to line this up in the center. I'll just go ahead and align center up here, see where it puts it. All right, so that's where it's going to put it centered, which looks fine to me. So what you're going to do is you're going to select all that and you're going to slice it. So you're going to see that it kind of breaks apart that image. You can pull these pieces out. You can pull different pieces out. You're going to get three different layers that come out. Okay. So I'm going to bring my letters back here. And the one that you want to find is the one that's going to stay lined up with your letters. So to show you what I mean here, when you take this piece, you can see that it doesn't line up. It actually does line up. This is the one you want. Sorry. So you're going to have that. So you can kind of see that image through these letters here. So if I move that one out of the way and I show you how the other ones look, you'll understand what I mean here. So if we take this one, that one's going to show you opposites. So everywhere that it cut out is going to leave a white spot. So you can kind of see that better, but then you're going to cut out pieces of your word here. So you don't want that one. So we're going to get rid of that one. This one here. And then obviously you don't want the one that's the same color because if you put that one back, you're back to your original image. And that's not what we're looking for here. So I'm going to bring this one back up here. Put it back together. Now I'm going to change the colors here so we can see it a little better. Our colors are red and blue. So I'm going to change these bottom letters to blue and I'm going to change these to a darker red color here. There we go. These letters need to be blue, just like that. And then I'm going to change my canvas color, which if you didn't know, you could do that. this background color down here. You go to blank canvas and you can select your color. I'm going to go ahead and hit black so you can see it a little better. So once you do that, what it's going to do is it's going to kind of cut your image out of your words, but it's still going to leave a solid image there. So your words are still solid. Your letters are not all chopped up, but you can still see your image behind it. Now, if you wanted to, you could take that original background that we had and you can put that behind if you wanted it to stand out a little more. I don't personally 
like it. <laughs> um, so you could do that. It would stand out a little. It just kind of depends on what you're doing. So you can see here we have the word slinger and then we have our owl here and it's cut out. Um, it would probably look good on a gray shirt or even a white shirt. You can see it. So that's the general idea of doing your knockout is you're putting your logo inside your letters inside your word. So I'm going to do it one more time to show you something a little different, a different way you can do the knockout with a different word. So I'm going to go back here. I'm going to type in, nope, right there we go. I'm going to type in my word here once again. I'm going to move it up, make it a little bigger, move the letters closer together. And what I did is I made a um, shadow layer, so a two-layer word, and I typed out owls. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can use that and put it in here so it's going to say slinger in the back and it's going to say owls in the front. So I'm going to weld this, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to contour out this middle section here. So I'm going to select this, come down here to contour, and we're going to, when it pops up here, we're going to hide that middle section of letters. So we're going to contour this out. And now it's gone. Now it just says slinger. So now I'm going to bring in my word owls here. And like I said, I just made um, a shadow layer and brought it in. So we're going to pull this over and we're going to see where we like to line it up at. So we're going to pull it in like this, just like that. So now I want to ungroup this because what I want is I only want my shadow layer to slice with. So I'm going to hide this real quick. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull this through. I'm going to slice this out and remove the other pieces. So this way you're going to be able to see the letters a little better. So the first time I kept that chunk of letters, this time I don't want to keep that chunk of letters because I want this part here, this other owls, to kind of have a place to sit just like that. So you can see where we sliced it and it kind of just gives it that shadow behind it. Let me get rid of all of this down here. So if we go ahead and we change these colors again, change it to red and blue, so you can do this with any word or any image that you're wanting. So now if we do it this way, we have where it says the same thing. It says slinger in the back. You can see that it says slinger and then it has owls in the front, which is what our mascot is here. So that's just two different variations of how you can kind of do a knockout. Um, this one is a little easier because you're not kind of piecing it together. Um, but they're both pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Once you know and you're putting the right pieces back into your letters, it's pretty simple. So if you like my video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos in Design Space and more awesome crafts coming your way. Thanks for watching, guys.